I've never seen a parade that he hasn't been in, and uh, we just really appreciate the fine work he did for our state, and he will be missed. Yes, he will. He was in 28 of the 48 parades, and uh, we will miss him very much. Okay, we're going to be back. Uh, I think we're ready, just about ready, for the start of the 1978 Rodeo Rodeos Parade, sponsored by the Phoenix JCs. We'll be back with that right after this. Hi, I'm Catherine Smith. Saddle up with me all next week for a special series of reports on horses at 6 p.m. on Cool News 10. Three, two, one. So if you've never grown your own garden or raised your own chickens and calves, you may have been missing out on a golden opportunity to slice your food budget. And you may find that... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so if you've never grown your own garden or raised your own chickens or calves, you may have been missing out on a golden opportunity to slice your food budget. Jordan's King Hussein held a surprise meeting with Israel's two most vehement enemies. He met with Palestinian guerrilla leader Yasser Arafat and Libyan strongman Muammar Gaddafi. For years, the halfway house approach to rehabilitating male prisoners has been a program in the state's corrections department. But Bill Lagatuda says for the first time, the state is trying to uh, make it out with women inmates. It is called Casa de Medios. Boom, 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 boom. Here comes the king, he's riding big unit one. Here comes the king, here comes the king, his film is second to none. Here comes the king, the king is coming. All units clear. But don't tell Fred the king is near, but don't tell Fred the king is here. La da 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 Take one. My, uh, this is this mayor. You may recall he had a teacher strike there. Yes. He's 31 years old, and this is the one who, as the proceedings got along a ways, he was arrested for mooning while driving downtown. In this Cleveland. was the same mayor. This is the same mayor. <clears throat> Interesting. In garage roof, six stories down, eat some food placed there by Thank zoo you. officials. And a secretary tomorrow morning might just be surprised. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you're Speaking looking at somebody about to eat crow. Uh, I, I have a very big apology to make. When a, I made a mistake, and I have to correct it. I said that it was the mayor of Cleveland who did the mooning situation. Several of you have been kind enough to call in and correct me, and I apologize to the mayor of Phoenix. It was the uh, president of the school board in Cleveland who mooned uh, as a result of the teacher strike. I apologize to the. Uh, City Hall in Cleveland, and uh, no, I just apologize. Joe well Doherty's spoken. here. Let's, let's check the weather now and see if uh, Joe is going to apologize for any of the weather we're having. No, I'm not. I never apologize Good. for the weather because uh, some people like rain and some people like sunshine, so you don't know what people like, and you want to try to satisfy everyone. So 
The man accused in the murders of seven boys and young men and suspected of as many as 32 killings was arraigned in Chicago today, and Bob Farr reports. <coughs> to have Bob Faw's report later. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. So if you put as much effort behind Snow Treads as Snow Treads is putting behind you, you're going to end up with a blizzard of sales. He's no dope. Randy knows. Snow Treads go in the snow. Better than a St. Bernard. The car won't move. Driving through snow, take six. Action! Oh, this dude. Where is Bob? Keeps his door locked and looks after his room himself. He's hiding something there. He's got something. Nature created snow long before man invented the automobile. Today, man needs a way to go in the snow that gives him the starting traction of chains without the trouble and costs far less than snow tires. Snow treads, made of space-age synthetics, steel-tough, feather-light, the extra muscle you add to any tire to conquer snow. Snow treads take you where you want to go in snow. All in one motion. All in one motion. For CBS News in New York, this is Sal Marciano reporting. That's William That's Sports. terrific. Oh, yeah, he was quite a boy. That brings, I didn't mean that in that sense, he was quite a ball player. Yes, and that brings us right up to date on the news. So for the Cool News team. Good night. Good night. There's a reduction. Well, it's not this year, no. uh, this year and, and next year's estimated. Next year's considerably less than uh, well, like 70, 70 uh, All players and basketball players and so forth. Four hundred one thousand. Four hundred one thousand. We show it in that figure up above as a state appropriation, and then we show it down a little bit later as an expenditure from the general fund. We only do that so that we feel it's important to know what it's costing. I don't think the, I don't know that I know this. I don't think U of A did that. So I just wanted to make you would have to take hours out, or you would have to. Hey, this Christmas party is getting a little too quiet. I think it's time we liven it up with my favorite Christmas gift, Mr. Microphone. Hey, what's that? Well, you set the dial on your FM radio and... Testing, testing, testing. Hey! I'm on the radio! <laughs> These kids are having a fabulous time with Mr. Microphone, the cordless microphone that actually puts your voice on the radio. There are no attaching wires, so you're free to move around. <laughs> Broadcast over any FM car radio. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. 
professional entertainers use Mr. Microphone for rehearsing. Bill Diamond was up in the cool Skywatch helicopter flying around the state today, and Bill, what did it look like around Arizona? Well, Joe, we saw the still heavy smog still lingering around the valley to some extent. It's practical and, and great fun for the whole family. It makes the perfect Christmas gift, and it's only $14.88. And it really, really works. Steelers use backup quarterback Gil Gil Gifford Nielsen from Br Brigham Young University to lead the Oilers without starter Dan Pastorini. Star Well, residents in one Mason neighborhood moved into their new homes just last fall, and now they want the name of their street changed. Well, Randy Rippling reports the change has to do with the turn of world affairs. Actually, in case you're wondering, my ear did not fall off. Anthony, you have a <laughs> quick sports update. Jeff was an outstanding photographer, but Jeff has a drinking problem. A few drinks at dinner, then a few drinks at lunch. Now he drinks at breakfast. A brief trip ran into homosexuality. His work's not as professional as it used to be. He just doesn't care. But you should. If your photographer has a drinking problem, call the MPPA, Division of Alcoholics, 257-1234. It's up to you. Right now, Bud Foster is near some of those places. He has been there all day long. You can see Bud there from the Cool News helicopter. Bud, what are you going to tell us about? Well, Pete, Dana, we're about 15 miles from downtown Phoenix. We're standing on the banks of the Gila River, but all of this water is from the Salt River, and the helicopter is just causing us all kinds of problems out here right now. But right behind me is Holly Acres. no traffic you can jump on the freeway and go west or go north any place in the city that you want so like city police are asking everybody to please obey the directives and turn right off of central it'll save you a great deal of time and if everybody would just follow orders and be good nazis they'd save themselves a lot of hassle in this traffic jam here meanwhile over in tempe well it's been termed a gestapo tactics living in a regular communist regime regime here and it's just frightful. <laughs> Open take one, coming in five four. There's hundreds of students here at ASU who are going by for lunchtime. There was a Cambodian hunger rally being held on the lawn here as two Cambodians were trying to get help to try and feed their people. Heck, what do Cambodians know of hunger? In my native India, in Calcutta, there are thousands of people who are suffering, eating goats, pigs, cows, chickens, anything they can get their hands on. I know hunger. I didn't eat lunch today.